Okay, you're sorry. Trig notes by Yasmin and Sarah. So what is Sokotoa? I mean, what is trigonometry? First, we have to start with the unit circle. Circle. A unit circle is a circle. At any place on the circle, the radius is one, and always one in a unit circle. So like this line is always gonna be one, and this line is always gonna be one, and this line is always gonna be one. At this point, you see that our radius is one, so this point is always gonna be one, zero. Like on a graph, you're gonna go out one and up zero. So this point is gonna be one, zero. And then you have your x coordinate and you have your y coordinate, just like in a normal graph. This is theta, it's your degrees. How much you go up, this is zero, this line is 90, this one is 180, this one's 270, and back around to 360. So what is so, so, ka, toa? So you have your sign, you have your sine equals opposite over hypotenuse, you have your so, sine opposite over hypotenuse. And then you have your ka, you have your cosine equals adjacent over hypotenuse, ka. And then you have your toa, which is your tangent equals your opposite over adjacent, toa. So anywhere within our unit circle, we can make triangles when we come to a point out on the circle. So we make triangles, and with those, we can use our Sokotoa to find what the angle is or what the sides are. Because you also always have your hypotenuse, your adjacent, and your opposite, just like we talked about now. So. so for example. So for an, for an example, you have your hypotenuse is one, and you're so with this, you see that the hypotenuse is one, and you are on the unit circle. And in this case, we have our angle is 20 degrees. And so we see the opposite side, which is here, which is our y, the adjacent, which is the x. And the hypotenuse is always one, as we said before. So here, let's do a practice problem. We're trying to figure out what x and y are. So here we have that hypotenuse is 1, and we have that our angle is 20. So we need to use our three equations here to figure out what the sine and cosine are. Okay, so in this situation, let's plug it into our calculator. And see what you can get. Do, 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 do. So let's see if you got the right answer. Sine of 20 should be 0.342. Did you get it right? Good job. Cosine of 20 should be 0.94. I'm sure you got it. So then to figure out your tangent, it's your slope of the line. So it's your rise, your rise over your run. So it's your y over your x component, or sine over cosine. Or your opposite over your adjacent in the toa of Soka toa. Oops, sorry. Did we just do this? No. Okay. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. So here you have, you know that your x was 0.94, and you have that your y was 0.342. So you plug that in, 0.342 over 0.94. Let's see what you your get. Let's okay. see if you got it right. Did you get the right answer? We did. Good job. Okay, so now we're going to do the same thing, but it's a little bit different. Because now our angle is 160. But there's nothing for 160. So you have to take it to the nearest black line, which in this case is 180. And so then from there, you subtract your angle from the nearest black line to get your reference angle, which in this case is 20, which is what we just figured out before. 
except here we're in the second quadrant, which means that one of our numbers is going to be negative. But which one is it? Oh, you guessed right. It's the x. Good job. So here we just plug in our numbers again, and we need to make sure that our cosine is going to be negative and our sine is going to be positive. Let's see if you got the right answers. Do, 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 do. Let's see if you got it right. You got negative 0.94 also? You're doing so well. A for the day. And positive 0.34? Look at you. But Sarah, won't the tangent be negative also because one of them's negative? You see, how did you know that? Dr. Leach. And your tangent should be negative 0.36 because when you have one positive and one negative and you're dividing, your answer is going to be negative. So now we have the same thing except at a 200 degree angle. But, what, so we take 200 and we subtract 180 and we get 20. So our reference angle is still 20. And now we do the same thing, except you're saying, what's the catch here? Um, Sarah, I think we're in the negative, in the, third, the, thir the third, quadrant. third quadrant, which means everything's negative. But then how is our tangent positive? Because if you have a negative divided by a negative, they cancel out, so you get a positive number. I hope you got it. Okay, so now, let's work backwards. So let's say we have our x and we have our y and we want to find the angle, which is theta. So if we take our, x, our y and put it over our x and then you plug that into your calculator and you should get a number. Did you get 0.36? That's what we got. Good job. So then once you have that number, that tells you what the tangent is of the angle. But in order to find out what the angle is, you plug it into your calculator we put, instead of tangent, you put the inverse of tangent. So you do second tangent for all those who are wondering. All those scoring at home. <laughs> and you should get 20 degrees like we said before. Touchdown, Cleveland Browns. Good job. And this is just the work on how to do it. In case you weren't listening, but I know you were. Thanks for watching, guys. We're having a quiz tomorrow. Thanks. 75 points. Better get it all right or uh, your grade's going to drop.